Hello, we're answering questions on sexual health. I'm joined by Dr. Catherine Hood. Hello, Catherine. Hello. Got a question here from a young man, I think he's a young man, who says that his girlfriend often complains that I don't spend enough time on foreplay. He wants to know, I think this is a lovely question, he says, how long is long enough <laughs> and how do I find her G-spot? Ah, well, long enough is whatever she wants, frankly. <laughs> um, and the reality is it does take women a lot longer to get sexually aroused than men. Uh, and also women get very easily distracted. So, um, you know, during sex, you can be feeling very sexually excited one minute and the next minute thinking about the shopping. So, yeah, it, it really, in terms of foreplay, it, it is about getting the women aroused enough so that they can reach climax as well as you, because men, it's a little bit more straightforward with men. Um, most women will require anything between 10 minutes and 20 minutes, but do you know what? It really depends on... on the circumstances. If they're a bit stressed, a bit tired, it can take a lot longer. And I think he's a little confused about what the G-spot is and where it is as well. Yeah, the G-spot, now that's a very sensitive spot. And there was a lot of debate whether it did or didn't exist, but I think most, most people accept that there is a, a very sensitive area on the anterior wall of the vagina. So that's just inside, up at the front. And it's about sort of two inches inside, roughly, although it varies from woman to woman. And this is an area that is particularly sensitive um, to stimulation. Now, when you're having sex, there are certain sexual positions that hit that spot much more than others. So, for example, sort of having sex doggy style or from behind, that will tend to knock the, the G-spot more. Uh, and so that will tend to help a woman to get towards orgasm much quicker and increase arousal and, and excitement. So but they must be talking to each other to kind of find all of those positions. Well, exactly. It does experiment. vary with each woman. And, and the amount of foreplay each woman likes, the type of foreplay varies. So it's really important with all new partners that you find out what they like and you find out and you're constantly communicating with each other. And that doesn't mean necessarily talking, it's no. about body movements, it's about you know, letting them know when, when you're interested or excited or when something's worked and when something hasn't. Learning to read each other well. Exactly. Thank you very much, very good advice as usual. Well, if you have a similar problem, we hope we might have given you some help, but remember it's always best to go and see your own doctor for medical advice. Thanks for watching, we'll be back with more health questions and answers.